Good morning everyone and happy Wednesday. Uh, it's been an absolutely busy but a bit more relaxing today uh, than it has been earlier this week. Uh, I apologize. I am just tidy doing a quick tidy up because um, I had to run some errands last night and there are times when I leave my husband to babysit um, the house becomes a wreck somehow. Not sure how that happens every time, almost every time I leave him to babysit, it becomes a mess, but that's okay. I honestly don't mind cleaning it, so. Um, so I'm just tidying up a bit. Got back from dropping kids off at school and also picked up a large golden bug from the coffee shop and also got a croissant. Uh, this is actually, I think, a day old, but it's a classic croissant. And I honestly do not mind day old stuff because I think I don't like wasting food, honestly. And it, to me, it, um, it, practically, it practically tastes the same. I, again, I apologize, just absolutely walking around everywhere. I'm looking for a hairbrush. Um, I had three girls and hairbrushes for whatever reason are really hard to find in this house because every time they use one they don't put it back and so I whenever I need one I have to look around everywhere okay I need to think where could one put a hairbrush that is so crazy Not seeing one there. Surely it's gotta be on the couch. This is crazy. Oh, I need to let my puppy out. Say hello, Tilly. Hello. Okay. Maybe she can find the brush. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. There it is, I found it, yay. It's a little kid brush, but it'll do. Uh, just need to do a quick morning brush. And then I'm going to sit and enjoy my drink and my croissant. And then just a little bit, bits and bobs of stuff I need to do today. Um, I have to, well I don't have to, I want to clean up this mess thank you hubby thank you kids <laughs> again I don't mind cleaning this up it's it's okay I don't mind um then going to also down my liter of water through this morning I try to drink about two three liters a day um which is sometimes a bit hard other times it's like okay that's what I needed like my body needed that much water water um and then I've also got, like I said earlier, I've got my golden bug I'm going to enjoy, croissant, take my vitamins, um, clean up, and then also want to um, do some touch-up painting on our stair rail. I will show you that uh, when the littles go to bed for naps, because right now they're enjoying a little bit of fun stuff, and then I will get to work on that, because that needs, our uh, stair rail needs a bit of touch-up, so. Definitely want to get that going. This is Tilly. Say hi, Tilly. <laughs> she is a doll. Yes, you are. Hello. Hello, baby. Tilly, can you say hi? You say hi, everybody. Say hello. Say hello. <laughs> okay, I just got the little ones down for their morning naps and I know this is a big spot I need to touch up but there is definitely a bunch more just little small spots um, all over the rail just need to touch up a bit so a couple more spots here 
L'Oreal and I think yes there's a spot there tiny ones right there another one there I know there's quite a few on the bottom I need to touch up as well and then on the other side I know yep right there need to touch up so and then I think there's actually a side a bit more that needs to touch up so I'm just going to go and touch up everywhere the ice I can see that needs some TLC so all right time to get going on this So real quick, I will show you finished. I just got done. So that looks a lot better. And the rails, both of them just look so much better. Now that I've got all them painted and touched up quite a bit. So yay, got that done. <laughs> Okay, so real quick, I just got that done. Um, I was using the Vaspar Signature Semi Gloss, um, and I don't remember what it's called. It basically it's just black. Um, but yeah, that's what I was using on the stairs. I meant to originally um, sand the rails but i forgot so i just started painting so the reason the paint was coming off is because uh we had christmas lights hanging on them or wrapped around them actually and they just basically scratched where where the wires were they just basically scratched the paint off so there was unfortunately lots of little scratches but i managed to get them done so now what's left on my to-do list is to um, clean up the kitchen and the living room. I probably need to clean up the front room, which is the toy room, uh, get that vacuum to get everything as clean as I can. My dad is coming to visit for, I don't know how long, but I want to, normally I have the place all cleaned up and everything. just because I have it, but because I was busy last night with errands and everything and early this morning I was really busy and the house just became a wreck, I'm going to quickly get as much as I can cleaned up back to where things should be um, before he gets here. Luckily I do have time before he arrives. It's, it'll be a while before he gets here, so. Um, yep, time to get everything all cleaned up. So, busy morning. Oh my goodness, guys, it has been such a crazy day. So I got the painting done, the rails to trim, and um, my dad actually did already come by and do his visit. So it's a bit late in the day. <clears throat> so I have actually been spending a good portion of my day not only just cleaning, but looking for my daughter's shoes and my other daughter's library book. And now my son's uh, security blanket. He s seems to have misplaced it as well. So uh, losing things is so annoying, but I've definitely done that before. I've lost my phone. I've lost something else. Just I, I definitely get that. But looking all over the house and not finding it just even just makes me feel worse because I. I feel like I actually looked and so did they and we still cannot find them so I think I will be spending the rest of the day and I guess the next few days looking for the shoes the library book and the blanket all three of those things are very important because you need shoes you need to return your library book you don't keep that 
and security blanket well mums around you know what i'm talking about security blankets you need to find those otherwise your little one is going to be very upset for a long time and even replacing that blanket sometimes will not solve the problem they want that blanket so need to spend some time looking for it and and all so hopefully you guys are having a good week so far my week has been absolutely just crazy busy but um definitely looking forward to the weekend like i already told you my weekend's probably going to be mainly consisting of looking for those three things and probably finishing cleaning the house because while i'm looking for them i'm also cleaning because i just can't help it i have to clean while i'm in that area or whatever stuff i'm near real quickly um before i end this vlog even though i think this vlog was pretty short i wanted to share with you the brochure from Stevenson's uh, Rocking Horse Company that I uh, talked to in my last vlog um, had the video call and got the studio tour which was absolutely amazing I really loved doing that um, but this is the brochure I got in the in the at the from the good. so this is the brochure I got from the post and it has absolutely beautiful pictures and information um so i mean they're just beautiful beautiful horses um and they do anim other animals as well let me see if i can find the other animals okay so they have tigers and camels my mom was trying to was trying to convince me to get a camel but i the camel is cute, but I have my eyes on the zebra, which you guys probably already saw on my Instagram, those who follow me on Instagram. I am definitely, my goal is to get the zebra, probably without the bison. You can do that. And I want to get the gray stand and uh, black saddle. So that is my, um, that's what I'm aiming to get. And there's another picture of a little girl on the zebra. And then let's see. Another horse, really nice. I mean, this book, this for sure, is definitely a, just. Oh, and then they also you can do a horse with an opened mouth or a closed mouth, which I think is kind of cute. I do kind of like the open mouth, but um, I don't know. They're both really cute. It's hard to decide. And history and everything. It's just. It's a really nice brochure. I want to share with you guys that this was a beauty. I thought this was cute. There is a sculpture, not a riding horse, obviously. But yeah, it's a really cute little book. Um, I'm definitely going to keep it just because I think it's really cute. I'll probably add it to my um, coffee table book pile for now because honestly, I don't have a coffee table. But I'm not gonna get one right now because I rather just wait. So I don't really have a coffee table right now. Um, I decided I'm going to go ahead and wait and order one when the new house is done. That way I know it's gonna fit in the new room. Whereas if I put it here, if I get it now, and if it's this house, then I don't know if it's gonna fit in the new house. So I figure I'll just wait until the new house is done and then get the new furniture because I'm really anxious. I've got a couple of coffee tables picked out. Um, but we'll wait and see. So it's all about waiting. So I don't really have a mirror, long uh, floor mirror. So I will go ahead and share with you my outfit for today. Um, basically just a plain white tee. So it's not really much to show on that one. But this jacket is from Albion Fits. Um, I will link their website in the description box below. Um, it's I think the black floor. I can't. I can't remember what the title of this jacket was. Hopefully they still have it online. I'm not sure if they still sell this. So I will look, put it in the description of closest, at least similar, closest to the jacket. I also have another one in white. Um, it's in the wash right now. Um, but it's really comfortable, very lightweight, great for running, I think, or just when you're a little cool in the house, you can just slip it on. And got my usual Fabletic leggings on which like i said i love these leggings they're so comfortable and great for every day almost got my uh, boots 
and my nice cream, nice cream London cashmere socks, which are so comfortable, guys. These are so comfortable. I love them. Also nabbed this big box of barbecue crisps. These are so delicious. They do have a bit of heat, um, but they are, to me, very addicting. I love these crisps so much and they also have seasoning which I honestly have never bought the seasoning before I've always I've only had the crisps so definitely love having the big box usually they sell them in big bags or little bags um, but you can go on the site online and order big boxes because we just go through them and when you receive it it's usually in a big pretty good sized plastic bag so very delicious just thought I'd share with you guys one of my absolute favorite crisps Okay, um, well, I guess I better get to moving and start looking for the things and I'm going to check on the rails later today, probably. Hopefully the paint has dried by now and it's all going to go well. Well, it should be dried by now. Um, just hopefully it's, I put on a little bit thicker because hopefully it'll stay on a little better. Um, and then I need to upload another vlog and it's a cloudy day so maybe I will take a nap which I doubt it because every day or every not every day but every time I say I'm going to take a nap or rest I end up doing the absolute opposite so that which is it's normal so yeah <laughs> all right hopefully you guys have a good week and I will see you next Tuesday